Welcome back to Crash Test Hockey, where I talk about all things NHL. If you happen to be new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, uh, let's start with the one game that was on yesterday, on Sunday, January the 16th. That was the Vancouver Canucks uh, versus the Washington Capitals there. Um, Vancouver won 4-2. to two. Samsonov took the loss for the Capitals. He stopped 28-31. Demko took the win, stopping 31-33 shots, walking away with a 9-3-9 save percentage in that one. Now the goal scores. Pedersen had two. Could this be the awakening we've all been waiting for all season? Uh, the other goal scorers for Vancouver were JT Miller, who had an empty netter, and Bo, Bo Horvat, who scored on the power play his 13th of the year, by the way. For the Capitals, it was Ovechkin, who got his 26th of the year on the power play. I think that leads the league at the moment. And Tom Wilson, who got his 11th, also on the power play, which... Come to think of it, uh, the Canucks penalty kill is still pretty putrid, isn't it? Now, Kuznetsov, it's worth noting that he got a couple assists on the night, and he was the third star. Now, let's move on to the games of today, which have actually already started, because the first game was between the Detroit Red Wings and Sabres, which is in first intermission as of the filming of this video. They started 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. my time on the West Coast. So let's get going here. Now, Detroit versus Buffalo. Uh, Nadeljevic's in net at the moment. Uh, Detroit's 17 17 on 5 on the season. They're 3 5 and 2 in their last 10. They won their last game, which was against the Sabres, by the way. They're now fifth in the Atlantic. Now, um, they beat, the Red Wings beat Buffalo 4 0 on Saturday. Bertuzzi had a three points in that one, and Nadaljevic got the win. Buffalo is sixth in the Atlantic, is 3-5-2 and two in their last ten. And, of course, they lost their last game on Saturday. Uh, let's move to the next game. Minnesota versus Colorado. Kakinen is projected to start uh, for the Wild and Kemper for the Avalanche. Now, the Wild are 5-4-1 in their last ten games. They won their last three in a row ever since Kaprizov has come back. They've been picking up steam. Spurgeon is still off, though. Brodeen, I don't know if he'll make it for this game. We'll see. They're fourth in the Central at the moment. Uh, five points back of Colorado and Nashville with one game in hand. Now, Colorado is, of course, now first in the Central. They just took over that spot recently from the Nashville Predators, who they also have games in hand on. They're 8-1-1 one, one in their last 10. They won their last two games. And they're actually a plus 40 in the goal differential department. That's second in the NHL behind only Florida, who's a plus 47. Uh, next game we want to talk about here is the Los Angeles Kings versus the San Jose Sharks. Both Reimer and Quick are projected for this game. Uh, LA is 7-3-0 in their last 10. They won their last four. They're one of the hottest teams in the league right now. Um, they've taken over second place in the Pacific from Anaheim, who now sits in third. And San Jose is 5-4-1 in their last 10. They lost their last game in overtime. Uh, and they're now fourth in the Pacific ahead of Edmonton and Calgary uh, for a potential wild card spot. Now let's move on to the next game here, which is the Montreal Canadiens. This is the Battle of the Titans. Another game, the Canadiens versus the Coyotes. Caden Primo is considered likely to start by left wing lock. That's where I get all these goalie starts, by the way. Vegmelka, if I'm saying that right, right probably not. Uh, he's confirmed to start for the Coyotes. Now, Montreal is 1-7-2 and two in their last 10 games. Uh, they had an overtime loss in their last one. Believe it or not, that's not currently the worst 10-game losing streak in the NHL. More on that later. Uh, the Coyotes have been looking kind of not bad lately. They, they've they beaten and come close to beating a couple of really good teams in the Leafs and the Avalanche. Now, they're 3-5-2 th and two in their last 10. They lost their last game against Colorado, I want to say. And they have one more point than Montreal in the standings currently. And they also have a better, say, a better win percentage, a 2-7-8, compared to Montreal's 2-6-4. The Canadians are really 
shooting for uh, Mr. Shane right there in the draft. Moving forward, let's talk about the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Seattle Kraken. Flurry is projected for the Blackhawks, Grubauer for Seattle. Now, Chicago is also one of the hotter teams uh, recently in the league. They're 4-3-3 three, and three in their last 10, but they've won their last four, ladies and gentlemen. They're seventh in the Central, three points behind Dallas, who just keeps going one step forward, three steps backwards. But Dallas does have three games in hand. Now, Seattle has the worst current 10-game streak in hockey currently at 1-8-1 one, and, one, and have lost six in a row. Next, let's talk about the Nashville Predators versus the St. Louis Blues. Now, Saros is projected to start for Nashville. Um, however, Huso is confirmed for St. Louis. Nashville is 6-2-2 two two in their last 10. They lost their last game in overtime. They're now uh, second in the Central. Forsberg may or may not return today. We'll see. Uh, he's been out since January 8th on COVID protocol. Ekholm shouldn't be back yet as he went into protocol on January 15th. St. Louis is 7-3-0 and in their last 10 games. Another hot team in the NHL right now. They did lose their last game to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Big barn burner there. It was a 6-5 game. Uh, they're third in the Central. They sit two points back of both Nashville and Colorado. And Buchnevich um, is currently on the COVID protocol list. He was put on it on January 14th. Now let's go to the Philadelphia Flyers versus the New York Islanders. Martin Jones is confirmed for the Flyers in this one. Sorokin is projected for the Islanders. These two clubs face off against each other uh, today and tomorrow. Now Philly is 2-5-3 and three in their last 10. They lost their last two games. They're sixth in the Central and tied with New Jersey, who's currently in seventh at the moment. Uh, and then Islanders are 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. They lost their last game. They're eighth in the Central currently. But they have five games in hand on the last wild card spot, which is tagged for Boston at the moment. But they're 18 points back. So, yeah, you do the math there. Pittsburgh is fourth in the Metro at the moment as well. Moving along here, let's talk about the last game of the day, which is between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, Jerry is projected for Pittsburgh, and Leonard is projected for the Golden Knights. Pittsburgh's 8-2-0 in their last 10. They won their last game. They're currently fourth in the Metro, as I just mentioned, and they're two back of Washington for third, and they got two games in hand on them as well. Now Vegas is 5-3-2 and two in their last 10. They lost their last game in overtime. Uh, they're first in the Pacific though and they're three points up on both LA and Anaheim who sit in second and third respectively in that division. Um, for COVID pro protocol for Pittsburgh, DeSmith was put there on the 9th he may be out soon, but Heinen and Aston Reese were put in there on the 11th. We'll see if they return. Vegas, Theodore, Patrick, and Watt are all on the COVID protocol. Uh, they were placed there on January 11th. That's it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and the channel, you can do that through my crowdfunding site at Buy Me A Coffee. You'll find a link down below in the description box, or you can just find it on my profile YouTube page. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, which will alert you when my next video comes out. I'm going to be talking about some UFAs in the trade market, so look out for that. And, hey, please. Be kind to each other in this craved, craved? Co I think it's a mix of crazy and COVID. Craved. In this COVID, Omnicron, multiverse we're living in right now. And I'll see you soon.